Welcome back, everyone, as we continue my career as a Union Army officer, getting closer and closer to becoming a Brigadier General. We are currently at the rank of Colonel. September 1862, there has been another hot fix to the game. I think by the time we start another career with the Confederate campaign, things are going to be much improved. And that also reminded me that sometime between now and the end of this uh, of this career, I'm going to have to pick up a Confederate officer's uniform. I've kind of set the standard high now, so I'm going to have to get something that I can wear for that one too. So uh, let's go ahead and see where we're at. We are, of course, in the 1st Division, Army of Northeastern Virginia, currently stationed in Charlottesville, uh, the hometown of Thomas Jefferson, where he's buried. Uh, he would just love the fact that we were occupying it with Union soldiers. Now, Jefferson did have uh, grandchildren and great-grandchildren on both sides during the war. Uh, John Wales Jefferson was in command of a Wisconsin regiment at Vicksburg, for example. Um, and then, of course, he had a number of grandchildren, great-grandchildren in the Confederate Army. Uh, but let's see what happens today. All right, looks like we're going into a, a fight here at Charlottesville. Looks like we've got almost 14,000 men to the enemy's just 5,000 at the moment. Uh, they also have pretty low morale, though ours isn't incredibly high either. So let's see what our orders are going to be for our brigade. With the enemy only having 5,000 men, I feel like we can make a real impact here in this fight. Where am I even on the field? Here we are. We're ordered to attack Old Coach Trail. All right, let's do it. Okay, so it's uh, 3.30 in the morning, and we actually got a little bit ahead of the cavalry screen that was out front. So it looks like our guys are going to get there first. Uh, I've given them instructions to hold up a little short of the objective because I did temporarily spot some rebel infantry right there in the objective. So I want to get into battle line before we get that close, and then we'll move into the objective to get those points. I'll probably use some prestige to take over a brigade or two, or a regiment or two. I don't have artillery right now because I sent the artillery back to refit since they were down to just five guns. And I'm going to give myself some long-range shooting orders here while they're still moving. I think we'll probably grab the second West Virginia. Uh, Cal oh, that's Cav. Uh, maybe we'll still do that. They got some Smith carbines there. Might not be bad to have some Cav because the infantry is way, way back at this point. Okay, here we go. Uh, I've got the New York State Militia skirmishers forward. We're going to now send the first and second Ohio skirmishers forward. Uh, it only cost me a combined 70 prestige to take over both of these cavalry units. Uh, so we're putting one on each flank while we use our skirmishers, and then we'll wait for the balance of the, the army to come up. But I feel like I've probably got enough to get this done myself. I've got 1,800 men in my brigade. Then you add the 900 in the 2nd West Virginia Cavalry. The 900 in the 2nd Ohio Cavalry. That gives me a decent chunk of what they have. If I play my cards right and I use good tactics and weapons, I think it would be in good shape here. So we're just going to let the skirmishers play this out for a little while. skirmishers firing on that battery. Actually, I'll get these skirmishers firing on a different battery. So I want to neutralize his artillery before I move forward with my main line. battery already. So far so good. One casualty to 70 that we've inflicted. This 
Still waiting for the second Ohio cab to come up. And then you see all the infantry coming in behind me. And right now they're going to come in way behind me. That's okay. We've got this under control at the moment. We'll just keep driving there. routed somebody probably the artillery so here's what I want to do now I want to pull in the skirmishers and move forward with my main body while keeping the cab where they are no not the skirmishers darn it All right, here we go. We're going to move into range now. With our infantry. Again, earning a nice amount of prestige. And I want to move into position now to be able to take this objective because that'll get us a nice chunk of prestige too. Deploy your brigade and engage the enemy. Uh, yeah, I think I'm already doing that. But thanks. Thanks for joining the, uh, the fight. And in case you're wondering, I do believe it does, in fact, hurt my relationship with my fellow brigade commanders when I take over their regiments. All right, looking good, looking real good. We're going to pretty much single-handedly win this battle. I'm going to press forward with my entire force now. Going to get a little bit more aggressive with it, too. Yeah, we've lost 34 men, inflicted 200 casualties. Beautiful. I think we'll just go ahead and speed it up to 20 times now because I think we're about there. There it is. That. That was lovely. That was a lot of fun, and we lost 57 men, inflicted 250 casualties. And because his morale was already so low, it really was not going to take much. And we did all of that before the rest of our army even came up. So pretty happy with that result. Probably could have pursued and done a little more damage, but I'm going to be pretty content with that. Nice. 383 prestige is our net there. After we spent, what, about 70 to take over those couple of units. Definitely worth it. Okay, let's take a look. We didn't really progress all that much toward Brigadier General, and we still need 1,000 prestige. So we're actually pretty darn close to where we could take on that promotion. Uh, in the meantime, though, I do want to look at some of our actions that are available here. Um, because we've got 
this psychopathic trait that I'd really like to get rid of if there's a way to do that. Uh, we can reconcile. There's personal ambition. There's therapy. Um, I don't know if that would do the trick or not, but it's certainly worth a try, isn't it? Throw a party. You can actually throw a party with money and it'll gain you prestige. You can use some leverage to increase prestige with money. An epic speech. Ah, uh, that'll actually increase the experience of the units under our command. That's not a bad idea either. Marksmanship. Organized recruitment. This will increase the number of recruits available for your nation and the number of recruits re-enlisting when their contract ends. Yeah. Um, let's see. Therapy. I don't know exactly if that'll cure my mental health issues or not it's going to take 45 days so we'll see what happens i am going to go ahead and pick up the quality jacket because i like how it looks oh i don't like i will say this i don't really like the the epaulets like that i'm going to go with this one here i think that looks pretty good pretty solid i wouldn't mind changing my hat too to something a little more oh yeah the hardy hat Perfect. Let's go with that. I like that a lot. Confederates, credit ratings deteriorating. Here's the overall situation. McClellan's our commanding general. Beauregard's commanding general for the Confederates. Both sides have a combined about half a million men fielded. And casualties are fairly even on the two sides right now. Back on the same Springfield map, fighting in Charlottesville, Virginia, yet again. But this time, much more even in morale, and the enemy actually slightly outnumbers us. So we'll have to play it a little more cautious this time uh, and make sure that we kind of stick with the rest of the army instead of jumping out in front and doing our own thing. Uh, we've been ordered to Bitter Creek, which is right up here. It's a little short of where we fought last time. So they caught us a little out front of where we were ordered to go. We were ordered to go up here to this first objective, but they're actually advancing up here. So uh, I'm actually going to move in across the river here and see if I can't maybe get some shooting at them on the flanks as they move in to engage the rest of our army. It'll still get me in the combat zone, I think. Let's make sure we get all of our units to at least enter the combat zone. Looks like the uh, the boys of the 1st Massachusetts are going to be the first ones to engage. I'm going to try to get my guys up in here. Oh, he's got some people on this side of the river too, so... Move the first Ohio up here to hit that cavalry screen that's coming this way. I don't know if there'll be other units as well, but I'm going to send the second New York State militia that way, and then I'll send the second Ohio up here to try and fire into the flank of these units that are engaging our army. Moving away. Don't move away from the river. How am I going to shoot at you? Engage at will. Yes, sir. There we go. I should probably take over some of these units to get some more of that prestige. 13th New York Infantry, 45 Prestige. Yes, sir. Let's do that. And then we'll move him in right there. Second Ohio is firing into the 45th West Virginia. And now we're engaging the Cav. There is at least one infantry regiment coming down this way, too. 
but we've got a little bit of time before they get there. time for the orders to get over to these guys on the other side of the river. Casualties look good so far. Having those superior weapons helps a lot. His morale is higher than ours. So that's not going to help a lot. Broke the calf that we were fighting against. Alright, if it's just this one regiment we're facing over here, I'm gonna go ahead and send the 1st Ohio over to start engaging with the 93rd Georgia. Doesn't look like we're really taking too many casualties so far. Pretty happy with that. Oh, we just broke the 45th West Virginia and the 47th. All right, 13th New York, let's press forward. Second Ohio is gonna engage the Georgians and then we're gonna send the first Ohio to engage them as well. So far, this battle's going really well. Looks like our comrades just broke the 34th Alabama. We're going to focus on this fighting here at the river for now. There's our old regiment, the 1st Ohio. the 2nd New York State Militia. And then I think we're going to sit tight and watch our brigade or watch our regiments in action. What's the 2nd Ohio doing? Facing the wrong way is what they're doing. I think they're a little out of range is the problem. Okay. Now we're going to bring the 1st Ohio over this way. I think we'll bring the 2nd Ohio as well engage what's in front of us for a little bit. New York State Militia is inflicting a ton of casualties. And they drove them off by themselves. Didn't even need the other regiments. In fact, it looks like the 2nd Ohio just crossed the river on the other side. That was not the order I gave you. But we'll take it. And I think we're just going to watch as this all works out pretty well in our favor. Push everybody forward now. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and send these two regiments forward, see if we can't break these regiments a little further. We're going to press real hard against them. Ah, we got the end of the day. 
Did he get a re get reinforcements, or did they just recover? No, he didn't. He he, lo he still lost thirteen hundred men to our three hundred, but he got that nightfall to kind of regroup everybody. Okay, day two. We're making a strong push to break the rebels on that side of the river. I'm trying to reorganize my brigade on this side. But these units coming up are going to be pretty well exhausted. And units like the 2nd Ohio only have seven rounds of ammunition. So that doesn't necessarily bode well for me. But I do feel like we need to make a move in order to help win this battle. So let's go ahead and send skirmishers forward. We'll engage briefly with the 2nd Ohio, but... We'll pull them off the line in favor of the 13th New York once they fire a few rounds because they don't have much more than that available to them. So it's just skirmishers right now for us. New York has a grudge and is taking his own initiative, huh? Well, that's not helpful. Alright, let's send his skirmishers forward. Looks like the rebels are going to try to extend their own line to counter what I'm doing. Casualties are still looking good for us. Inflicting severe losses on the enemy compared to what we've taken. Alright, 2nd Ohio is going to stay in reserve now. We'll pull all of our skirmishers back in. And then we're going to start advancing. Not sure why the orders are not being obeyed at the moment. Here they come. All right, here we go. We'll bring the second Ohio in as a reserve behind them. Not entirely sure why they think that going like that would be the way to do that. 33rd West Virginia is just going to charge right into us, I guess. Where are you going, second Ohio? Straight there, man. Straight there. Actually, you know what? Just hold. Forget it. take some significant losses compared to what we had the day before. But we're also inflicting a lot. What's the morale look like for the Confederates? Only slightly higher than ours now. Only inflicted 35 casualties on the 86 North Carolina. I guess it's possible because we're firing on other units too. Right, everybody's doing good at the moment. Here and shoot it out. No way you can take it forever.
Beautiful. Okay. Let's advance. Keep the second Ohio right up in close just in case. I'd love to put them on the line too, but they've only got seven rounds of ammunition. How's the rest of the army doing? Pretty good. We've got them bunched up right here, holding the crossroads with just a couple of regiments. There are some over here though. Second New York State Militia is down to just a couple rounds of ammo. Actually, we're getting pretty low all the way around. Thankfully, he's breaking. Some skirmishers out to hit that battery. Lovely. All right, we drove them off. That should just about do it for this battle. Ended up pressing across the river, and we were able to drive them off. This is going to be a major Union victory. 4,100 casualties inflicted on Harrison's men. Uh, 1,800 for us. We gained another nearly 600 prestige for that one. One step closer to Brigadier General. Uh, we need about 3,000 prestige in order to take over a division, though, so we're not anywhere close to that, though that number will continue to come down. The longer we serve at Brigade Command, the less prestige it takes to take over the next level up. We're now at 59% toward Brigadier General. We actually do have enough prestige to do it. It would take 887 to make that happen. Not sure I'm quite ready to spend that though. Uh, I think I'd rather um, let that number come down so we don't have to spend pretty much all of our prestige. I'd like to save some of it in case we need it. Uh, we've still got 29 days until our therapy is completed. Apparently I now have a nickname. I'm Devil Horns. Not entirely sure why I'm Devil Horns, but that is my nickname. Um, just looking at kind of our stats and stuff here. And I want to look at our brigade for just a minute. Kind of look at some of the, the history that we've got there, if we can. Second New York State Militia took some pretty significant casualties in that last battle. But uh, the previous battle of Charlottesville, 36 casualties inflicted 200. First, Ohio. Only took 54, inflicted 154 in that last battle. About the same as the previous battle of Charlottesville. Second Ohio, I inflicted 177. Doesn't appear to have taken too many losses in either of those two battles. Actually, three battles at Charlottesville. I guess it's counting the two days of that battle as separate ones. 22 days till Reno returns with his battery, hopefully with more guns. What's my relationship like with my division commander? It's actually pretty good. He listened to my advices. Yeah, that's because I spent prestige to do that. So we have a 78% relationship with him. What about with McDowell, the Army commander? Pretty solid relationship with him as well. I actually do have the ability to promote men under my command if they are lower than the highest rank they can have. So Thomas Crittenden being a lieutenant colonel, we could promote him to full colonel. Uh, that'll hurt his experience but help his fame a little bit we're going to go ahead and do that we'll promote him um, none of these guys under me are particularly of any great note when it comes to their stats mine's decent though so it's good to feel important during such pivotal times in world history recently you've been blessed with kind regards from the president himself as the president's man accompanying you has provided His Excellency with most accurate information about your recent heroic deeds. Unfortunately, your subordinate seems to be jealous. 
or why else would they look so sour every time you mention the president's regards? Um, all right, so let's take a look and see where we're at now. Uh, leadership's up to four stars. That's pretty good. Still not sure why I'm called Devil Horns, but uh, hey, so it goes. We're 64% toward promotion to Brigadier General, and our therapy will be done in six days. I'm really crossing my fingers that that has a positive impact on things. Army just lost a battle at Front Royal. That's just up the road from us, up in the northern part of the Shenandoah Valley. The therapy paid off as you learned some empathy. The men no longer consider you such a psycho, and this has made leadership much easier for you. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at myself now. I have lost the trait psychotic. <laughs> so thank goodness. That also removed that nickname from me. So uh, double bonus there. Hopefully that helps moving forward. Uh, I'm really tempted to spend that 757. I think we're going to do it. Brigadier General, baby. The promotion's about to come through. And once it does, we'll probably wrap this episode up there. There it is. Promotion. You've been promoted to Brigadier General. I could go as high as a core command now. Though we're still at a brigade at the moment. Uh, how does that compare me to the other brigade commanders in our division? They're all colonels. So I am now the highest ranking brigade commander in my division. If something were to befall Daniel Tyler, it would be my division at that point. But we haven't seen that happen so far. He's got a lot of fame going for him. Uh, what's it going to cost me now to apply for that command? Still 2600 prestige. That will hopefully go down and hopefully sometime... In early 1863, maybe after the winter is over, we will be ready for brigade or for division command. We'll see what happens. Let me know your thoughts. Use your comment section below, and we'll be back again soon with another episode. Thanks for watching.